Welcome to 30 Days AI Challenge, where we literally teach you how to train your own AI for free, starting from the basics. Hopefully, yesterday's doubt section was good with me. Now we are moving forward with the next day. Now, if you guys are not able to see my lives, click here and click on the live dabs, so you will get notified whenever I do the next live, and you'll be able to see it here as well. Anyway, don't forget to share, comment, join our WhatsApp community, and subscribe too. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Let's roll in. So once that's done, so here it's and uh, downloading the model and all. Okay, as you can see, it's running right now. So we have kept everything for running. Don't worry. So here it will just print the data set column names. So our ma uh, our Marvel information. Can you tell me the column in this? What is the column? I'll tell you the instruction, input, output. That are the columns. Got my point. So we are teaching the models what the instruction is, the uh, input and the output. Is that clear? So we are just telling the model. So there are three sections that you need to focus on. Is that clear in the data set? Okay. So that will run now. Uh, we'll skip all this. We don't need to check this all out. Yeah. This is uh, okay. Now this I'm not going too in depth, but in short, we if. The data set is not following instruction output input the columns right. The share GPT thing converts it into in instruction input output. So it might be like let's say uh, here I think see this one had only input and response. You see the thing right. So we are using this part of the code. To make it instruction and output, not just if it is in another pro column. Okay, once you do that, we have here. So we are just. This is basically once the column is done, we just take it here, bring the model back, bring the this back. Now we'll not check all this. We will just directly go down. Okay, we don't need all this. Now here is the instruction response, the template. So I'm just going to run this. There's nothing special. Basically, taking the same data set. And telling the model now the the instruction means the input, the response means the output. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah. Now, now see. Uh, I hope you are able to follow me through this process, right? So after this, finally, what happens? We train the model. So we prepare the data set. We got the model. We tell how we are going to teach it. Now we uh, take the data set, prepare the data set. We are converting it into formats. Like a lot of stuff, guys. Can I tell you something? People take literal not even month years to learn this. Okay, I took actually months, so I had to figure out what these mean and all that. It is really complicated. So, like this that you guys are learning it within hours is so cool. Okay, so check this out. So here, this is a full code on you know how to train the model. What are the steps? So who remembers what transformers are? From yesterday's neural networks, this is going to be a buzzing question. Who remembers what transformers are? But in short, transformers are a type of neural network that looks at the question and then answers the question. So encodes it and decodes uh, the question, right? So encodes the question and answers the question. So those are transformers. So we are using that type of neural network here. Right, so people over here they'll understand. So this is basically the training data set, max length. So how much should be the length of the data set it looks at once? It's all these kind of stuff. I'm not going to go too in depth. One thing is you need to look at is the max step and the gradient ac accumulation steps. And e where is epochs? Epochs? Uh, where is epoch? 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 Okay, it's not here. Anyway, it's fine. I think it should be somewhere. If someone finds it, that would be cool. Anyway, so what max steps are? So here you can say 60, right? It's the number of the time the model goes through that information and learns. So if you see, I turn the 60 into 60,000, it will go through that table 60,000 times. It will learn from the table. So like reading the book like 60,000 times, like this is Spider-Man, is this, like 60,000 times. That's max steps. Now, gradient descent, learning rate is like how fast it goes through what it is. So it can go take one hour to learn it or it can take five minutes. So that is what this means. 
um and ma- g- uh, grading accumulation steps is basically like how many times it should do the steps into so if we say 60 steps and grade in accumulation steps is 2 it will do 120 is that clear is that clear so let's say okay okay so let's say step okay is 60 okay and grade here okay is what 2 okay so how many total steps will be there 120 basically multiplying this yes so that will be the training so we'll be doing that too oh i think all this is done we just have to keep it for training so it has done all the stuff so you can see it goes through it finds the format and all guys we are going to get a break soon so i'll just keep this for training and by the time we are back so here you can see trainer stats we are just going to keep it for training and so as you can see the screen by the time we'll be back the training will be done So I'll just show you the first step how it looks. So it sees the batch size, the epoch. See, this is the number of epochs. Uh, and more into that after I come back, uh, we'll smartly offload gradients to same VRAM. So you can see two out of sixty steps, right? So it will start doing it. And by the time we'll be back, this should will be done. <music> for joining into this 30 day ai challenge hope you are able to learn something from this now you have to rewatch this understand the concepts again watching this once won't kind of help you now if you missed any sessions do watch those as well anyway thank you for joining thank you for supporting my mission in teaching you guys ai another person who is supporting me is oxygen because there is a lot of cost to do all this and i just want to thank oxygen for supporting us doing all this now if you want awesome phones awesome laptops awesome washing machines that even has ai and stuff i don't know it's crazy i've gone to that showroom it has an apple store vibe right so check it out love oxygen you guys already know i don't have to explain a lot that's it do join tomorrow thank you my name is all you're watching all the rockstar and i I'm signing out.